Today we play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door using an HD mod that makes the entire game and all the characters look super crisp and clean. It is incredible. This game is super fun. It's one of my favorite GameCube games of all time. I've played it so many times before and so many people have told me that this is one of their favorite games ever also. The start of this game is really cool and some of the later chapters are amazing, especially the ending. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this video. So here's the intro cutscene. How good does this look? Okay, we've got a nice book over here with this star. Ahem! Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Will the book open? An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. Yes, we can read this text here. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. One day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. The page turns. Lots of reading over here. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, dot dot dot, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Well, the town's underground now. The clouds are so happy. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. So they built a new town on top of where the other one sank underground. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Oh wow, there's just a noose in the middle of the town. Yes, this is where it begins. The Sea Town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. And there's the town! Look at that! Oh, and here's Princess Peach! Hello, Princess Peach. Finally! I have a minute without Torturous watching over me! He's so paranoid! I came all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling! Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. It's like a dangerous place to be looking around. I think Toadsworth has their best interests in mind. But now that I'm doing it all, all I see is this town has a very, uh, distinct flavor, shall I put it? Oh, Missy, Missy. Psst. Who is this? Do you mean me? This person calling over Princess Peach. Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Wow, he has a lot of cool stuff. Oh, well, um... Uh... What are you gonna do? Are you gonna buy something, Peach? Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? Your soul! I mean, uh, uh, it's said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. The box has a magic, magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. And you can see, it won't so much budge if one such as myself touches it. Wait, so he's saying he doesn't have a pure and noble heart? Oh! Maybe I have a pure noble heart. I know, if the box will- I know, if the box will open for you, Missy, you'll see whatever's inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hand and see what happens. Oh, uh, all right, what's the harm? No, never take something in your hands from a stranger, no. I'll try to open it. No, Princess Beach, don't do it. Don't do it, Princess Beach. Oh my goodness, she is shaking. Oh, the people in the background are just going by as if nothing's happening. And that is how our game begins! Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door! Alright, so this is how the game begins. We got some nice trees, beautiful area over here, and this is Mario's house. How cool does this look? Oh, and here comes Paracarry! This is actually a partner from the original Paper Mario game. Put something in. Mail call! And he drops off a letter in there, and off he flies. What a lovely little postman we have. And out comes Luigi, a favorite character of so many people. Okay, and he gets a letter there. Oh, it's a pink letter. It's probably from Princess Peach, because it's pink. That's what I'm guessing. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from a Princess Peach just arrived for you. Yahoo! I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario! I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? 
I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. Wait, so Peach isn't kidnapped? Why do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out, Mario. Wow, and we actually have the letter. Okay, that's actually kind of surprising that everything's working out okay. All right, so this is our map. Cool looking map over here. And it's so funny that it looks like we have a green screen around the edges over here. Yeah, because we are using an HD mod and also a widescreen mod. Man, the game just looks so much more crisp compar compared to the original like this. All right, this actually reminds me so much of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So let's get started then, okay. Oh, I love this cutscene so much. This is such a cool cutscene. Okay, so here's the prologue. And what a weird coin. It's like every time the coin spins over, it's someone else's face. A rogue's welcome prologue. Let's get started. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. And now Mario starts to open his eyes over here. And look at that. It all came into focus now. That's where we're going, Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Oh, this is so exciting. We're finally making it to Rogueport. Wait, why is the... Yeah, the boat was just waiting at the side for a moment. But here we go. What a funny boat we're traveling in. Wait, who is this? I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? Yeah, it looks like it's a rough town. What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting here for you. Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. It's like the, uh, it's like those scams that you get. It's like, come here, I'm a princess. I'm a rich prince, actually. I'll give you money if you send me money. It's like one of those scams. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, do we get dropped off now? Yeah, we're dropped off. Goodbye over there, boat. Thank you for bringing me here. That's so cool how it goes away like that. Man, what a cool game. Paper Mario is such a cool game. Okay, so Rogue Port. Okay, let's save over here. Great place to save. Okay, yeah, if you hit one of these blocks, then you get to save. Paper Mario is such a great series. I'm so glad that we're playing more Paper Mario right now. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a bit of advice for me. Hit that save block to save, because the thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. What if real life had save blocks? When would you guys save? What do you want, pal? Huh? Princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? Yeah, she's our girlfriend. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Someone over here is yelling. Oh, no. Oh, come off it. Yeah, no, it's tough for you. Don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so you be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Yeah. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, 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 buh. Boys, we're taking this firebrand off fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Oh no, we have to save her. No, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. We have to go save her. Let's go. Oh, and she hides behind us. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Ha, huh, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? Think you can screw up my plans? But I was like, how am I in the middle of this? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb All right, we have our first battle of the game. Very exciting times here. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat that weird freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay, let's go. How good is my timing? Let's see. Yeah, and I still know how to do stylish hits, too. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time. And I can block, very nice. All right, how good is our timing? Okay, let's go again. Let's go, nice stylish moves like that. You've got him on the ropes, come on, keep wheeling him. Wait, let's try this. Oh, man, I even have the... Oh, and that even defeated him. Yeah, if you hit the B button with perfect timing like that, I don't know how many frames you have, but if your timing's really good, then you can hit B and you can actually deal damage back on the person that tries to attack you. That's really tough to do. I'm so surprised that I got that. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Here we are! Nine star points for us. Very nice. Man, this looks so good. The HD mod looks amazing. Buh, 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 buh. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But fortunately for you, that means... What does that mean? It's go time! Where did all these guys come from? Oh no, so many of them. Punish him! Oh no, oh no, they're all jumping on us. We gotta get out of here. 
We gotta get out of here. Oh, oh, I can actually move. Wait, wait, oh, Goombella's over here. Wait, is it Goombella or Goombaria? Quick, this way. Let's go. Wait, boo, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Yeah, we're not gonna fight them. We can just sneak out of here. But I'm pretty sure, hold on, can't you hammer these guys? Oh, I thought for some reason that you could hammer them and they would start to disappear. Okay, but I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sneak away over here. Oh, oh. What's going on? Stop! Okay, and everyone uh, stops. All right, where's the guy? Where's the guy? What happened to the guy? Hey, where is he? Where's that Mario fella? Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson. Did you see them? Did anyone? Everyone has question marks. Uh, crud! They bolted! Ah, uh, and we got away. That was a close one. I'm glad we got away. Wow, mister, you, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. And she gives you a kiss. That's so funny. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Why would that be offensive? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. Yeah, yeah, this is a city that you don't want to be around. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Mario's like, wait, I know about the legendary treasure. Look at the background, look at what's happening in the background. You see those guys in the, you see those piantas over there and the suits over there? What, you're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there, bucko? Is a word that I always hear Jordan Peterson use. That's so funny that she's saying bucko. But yeah, we've got the map over here. Oh my gosh, is this, is that the treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. We got it from Princess Peach. Princess Peach, what? Great, hoogly boogly. If it isn't Master Mario. Go oh, on, look at what's going on in the background. They beat up those guys with the spears. Ooh, ooh, stay down, bro. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, pug? And then they just run off and that guy's flattened over there. Are you okay? Uh, hurt. Those jerks. Yeah, so there's, we won't forget this. Yeah, so there's like the battle between the different gangs in this town over here. It's funny that you see something like that happening in the background. Keep it back to Toadsworth now. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho. So, tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Huh? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing, truly intriguing, sir. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Uh, uh, I was about to ask you that. You stopped in this town to acquire a spot for fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, it vanished. Oh no, Princess Peach was kidnapped again. How did she manage to send us the letter, though? You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss of what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. I was like, we got to save her. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely, and by we, I of course me mean you. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. What did I say? I was like, me, I got to do it. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your hot points running low. Just drop on in, ho ho! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill up all your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed, what a funny joke. I'll just stop on in, huff I say, huff I say. Uh, Princess Peach, did he mean like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets napped by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? I was like, that's the, the one. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone you then, you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting around and went to find the treasure on her own? Wait, but she sent me the map, so what could have happened to her? Oh, oh, I know Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party! All right, Goombella's part of our group now. Very exciting. Okay, so let's learn about Goombella's abilities. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. This is the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Okay, so when you press X, you get information about where you are, and you can also get information about people if you pass by a person. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Yeah, so this is a town where people can, uh, 
can get mugged a lot. And Gubel can also, yeah, Gubel can also help in battle. Yeah, she can do a head bonk attack and you can use Tattle and then you find out how much HP your enemies have, which is pretty cool. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out for what Professor Frankly looks like. And it's so funny how video games do this, where it's like they show a picture of what exactly you're looking for in this speech bubble. It's like, how do they do that? Do they describe it really well? Or are they showing you a picture of the person? Okay, so let's make our way over here in Rogueport. What a cool scene. Oh, and something happens here. Yeah, oops, pardon me, sucker. Someone runs by and look at this. Hey! What's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Look what happens. Goombella notices something. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. Yeah, we had 100 coins. Now we're down to 50. The first time that I played this game, I was so triggered by that. I'm like, what? I lost half of all of my coins already. I lost 50 coins. And coins are actually really important in this game. But I didn't figure this out until much, much later when I played this game. If you go over here, and you actually catch this guy. Yeah! Ah, uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty darn persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, okay, I'll give you your coins back here. And he gives us the coins back, and we're back up to 100 coins. Let me give you a news flash. Even the innocent looking people in town are thieves, so don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change. Okay, buddy? Yeah, that's true. It's like if you are naive, then you'll be taken advantage of by psychopaths. That is a very good life lesson over there. Man, Jordan Peterson just keeps coming up in this video over here. First someone was saying, buckle down, we're learning lessons like this. Like, don't get taken advantage of by psychopaths. Don't be naive. Okay, so this isn't the door. I think this is actually the door over here, right? Let's see. This is the professor. Yes, there's the professor. There he is. Hello, professor. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. What's that? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Uh, just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Uh, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom instead of Elizabeth. That's so funny. Ah, uh, uh, oh, I know. I've got it. You are Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! Where is this Goomba school? Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... It's a me, Mario! Who? Ah, uh, he doesn't recognize Mario. Mario, professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Roadport. I felt that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. He's got a lot of stuff in his room, lots of books. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. What could it be? Look at how detailed this book is right here. Like, it is actually crazy how detailed this book is. Look at how unreal that is. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. Imagine if you just get to the end of the game and it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. Find the treasure. One must have. The crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. And the stars that light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah, it's so cool how it rhymes. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Oh, so we just have to take our map to the door. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. Only we have that map. But we do have it, Professor! Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map! What? Really? You... You actually have it? 
Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? I was like, sure thing, here's the map. Astounding! This is it, the real thing! The one and only magical map! How does he know? Were there like books written about this or something? You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Cupella, Mario, off we go this instant! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Let's indeed go. And, looks like we want to go down here. I bet you didn't know this rotten thing came off, did you? <laughs> and, that's so funny how it just comes off like that. Okay, and we want to go down here. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Let's get moving indeed, let's, oh. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario, something just occurred to me. What is it? I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about action commands, right? Yeah, we know about action commands. We've played Mario games before. We don't need you to teach me how action commands work. Okay, so let's head down here. And look at that, there's actually someone on the roof there. Okay, so down the pipe we go. This is such a cool transition when you go like from one thing to another, how it turns into an airplane like that. Oh, and you know what? Why not save? There is a save block, I think that we should save. Okay, so let's make our way down. And, oh look at this. Hey, hey, what's up man? Who's the hottie you got with you there? Hey. What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you really make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that, nobody. Let's get him, boys. Oh, man. Time for our, I guess, like, first battle. Oh, and we also can't flee this one. We did have one battle before, but this is our first, like, normal enemy battle. A Goomba, a spiny Goomba, and a para Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is this fellow in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Jump on it, and you're the one who will take damage. And yeah, that guy is flying, so we can't hit him with a hammer. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration. Yeah, 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 this is an easy fight. We know what to do, don't worry. Oh, you can press Y to change the order that you attack. You know what? Let's do that then. Let's swap. You can go first. There we go. Took out that Goomba, because the Goombas, they normally have two HP. So now we can use the hammer on this guy. Very nice, and we can do stylish moves like that. Yeah, so first time using the hammer in the game, let's see. Oh man, I'm so good at that. I did the special action command. Okay, let's go here. Let's just see how good our timing is. Okay, looks like our timing is actually not bad. I'm doing pretty good at getting the action command. Really important that your timing is good in these battles. Owie! Oh, they just run away. Oh, I thought that they'd be defeated. Ha, later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they try to attack, try to hammer them or jump on them when in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter a battle. So if an enemy catches sight of- Yes, yeah, so if you hit an enemy uh, before the battle starts, then you get to do a first strike on them. Okay, I think we have to go here now, right? This is moving back and forth. I don't think that we could go farther that way yet. So we want to go over here. Let's go down here now. Oh man, there's so much cool stuff that you can do in this game. And... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's avoid this guy! Get away from me! Okay, nice, we avoided them. Amazing, okay. Oh, an item! Wow, you got a mushroom, you got an item. Amazing. Now what's in here? Firefly, I want that fire flower! You shall leave me alone! Yeah, we made it past him, okay. Wait, wait, oh, he's still following us. Okay, okay, we don't actually have to go this far, okay, because we can't activate that yet. Let's go here, it's so funny that we were able to avoid those guys. Okay, now let's get in here. And now we're popping out in the next area. Oh, look at this little guy over here. Hello there, little friend. What are you doing going in there? Oh, oh, I actually almost forgot where we have to go. I just remembered where we have to go, okay. Those are some tricky enemies, so let's go here. We hit this switch, and look what that does. That's so cool how stuff just peels away like that and reveals other stuff. Okay, so let's go here now. Up these steps. And we can't use this yet. This is a special ability. Some of you might know about what that does. Let's go in here first. Okay, there's a dark treasure chest here. Should we open it? Tell me about this. This is a black chest. Wonder what's inside it. Let's check it out. Let's open up the chest. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can! That must mean you're the hero of legend! I was like, me? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice! Yeah! Everyone else? Nothing! Wait, can Goombella hear it? See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box! I was bummed! 
I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this, man? Look at this person trying to sweet talk Mario. You can tell that he wants something out of Mario. Hey, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. Yeah, he just mentioned it. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So, you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So, first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this, and it's so funny that they just show a picture of it in the dialogue box. But what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Mario's like, hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. I feel like we're playing The Legend of Zelda right now, calling us the great legendary hero over here. Okay, where is that key? Gotta be somewhere around here. I actually don't remember where the key is. Where is the key? Oh, it's right up there. Okay, so I guess if we drop down here. Yeah, then we got the key. You got a black key, a strange black key, but what could it be for? We know what it is for. All right, it is time to unlock it now. Whoa, 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 whoa. You brought the key, yes. Oh man, I owe you big. And hold on, what if you say no right now? Oh, come on, don't taunt me. Hurry up and open it. Okay, let's use the key now. Let's see what happens. Yes, think, ha, think nothing. <laughs> Fools. The chest opens up. What happens now? Oh no, we have been cursed. Oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! What? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box! Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks! I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you! Buggly Wuggly Woo! Your curse! Now Mario gets cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker! You get what you deserve! You wanna hear all about the sweet curse that I just dropped? And listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane! Ha 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 Trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Ha 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 Oh, I can't help but chortle! You're doomed! Yeah, so if we go up to these, we could be an airplane now. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and bam, you're a paper airplane. Look at that, we become a paper airplane. The worst part is that if you tilt left and right, you control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So, be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that ever happened to you? Yes, I get it, it's terrible, or I zoned out, what was that? Yes, it's so frightening, you lost control of your brain! Listen once more, crybaby! You step on the- oh, then they just repeat it. Okay, now he says, do you get it? Yes, I get it. It's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool! <laughs> okay, so it's so funny that that guy acts like this is such a curse, but it's actually just a new ability that we uh, just unlocked. And it's actually something super useful because we actually have to use this ability right now to progress in the game. Yeah, we want to go over here. And then... We can be this airplane over here, and... We just make it on over to the next room over here. And we're going to a very nice room now. Look at where this is. It is the Thousand Year Door. We finally made it to the Thousand Year Door. It's the name of the game. Can you believe it? Oh, Mario! Gumbella! Look at that! It's the Thousand Year Door. How creepy does that look? It's the Thousand Year Door spoken of in Legends! I can't believe it's real! So the Legends are all true! There it is! Biggest life! Come! Let's move closer! It's funny, he spends his whole life researching this, and he's like, wait a minute, it's actually real? Okay, wait, and if I remember correctly, hold on, there's a star piece hidden somewhere back here, if I remember correctly. Let's just save first. Oh, weird! I could have sworn that there's a star piece hidden somewhere back here, but... Maybe there isn't. Let's just go up to the Thousand Year Door then. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, do you think? Let's step onto it and find out. Oh, and we have the map, right? So maybe now the map will show us where the crystal stars are, and then we can go and collect some of them. That would be nice. Oh man, look at this. The way that this is lighting up, this is so cool. Professor, what's going on? 
Oh, and look at this, all the stars that are up here. Man, the graphics in the HD version of this look absolutely stunning. Like, this was originally out on the GameCube, and at the time, it looked great. It was a really nice-looking game. But man, this HD 4K texture mod just really makes it look makes it really look amazing. And our map has been hit with the power of the crystal stars. Now the map should show us where the crystal star is, right? Like I'm the map, I'm the map, just like Dora the Explorer. Is Dora the Explorer? Are there still uh Is that still an ongoing series? Do people still watch Dora the Explorer? I remember my sister was watching that when she was little, so I heard all the songs like I'm the map and stuff like that. Okay, but it looks like we want to go over to some fortress over there. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. That's a super useful ability, actually. It's great for healing. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Ah, it appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. So now we're gonna find out where we have to go. And the music that plays here is so great, it's so funny. Oh, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there's a guy up there on the roof, which is kind of funny. Ah, aha, I see. What's going on, Professor, what do you see? Hey, show us inside the house now. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do! Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario- Yeah, Mario can now use a special move. Very nice, yeah, special move. We know what the special moves are. Would you like to try it? No thanks, we know how it is. No thanks, no thanks. That's okay, we'll use it in battle. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the- Wow! Astounding! This map has radar-like functions! It now shows the location of a crystal star! Looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yeah, let's go to Petal Meadows. Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. It was a little sus over there. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. So we just have to go to the sewer and then we can go there immediately. So by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach. Does he know who Peach is? Or Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? He knows who Peach is, but not who Mario is. This Princess Peach wouldn't be her, would it? Wait, why do you have a picture of her? Is she sending you selfies? Is she sending pictures of you? Oh boy, is she sending pictures of herself to you? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. Uh oh! She wanted to learn about the treasure! I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there's another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Ah, I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Peach is indeed there, then your first priority is to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. All right, give me back my map, sir, please. Thank you very much, sir. Aren't you coming too, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me can handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. All right, let's go. We are off, Mario. Indeed, let's get going, okay. Wait just a moment. Oh, oh, is it the Professor? Oh, is he giving us a badge? That's so cool. Power smash. Scary out there, take this with you. Wait a minute, isn't that what they say in uh, The Legend of Zelda when you get a sword? It's dangerous out there, take this. Okay, but yeah, we've got a badge now. Okay, let's equip the badge. I don't want your help. No thanks, I know how to put on badges, don't worry. Okay, badges are super useful. Okay, so let's put on our badge. We can go, badges, power smash, there we go. We've got a badge, very nice. Oh, and you know what? Can we go up to the badge shop? I wonder if anything's going, if anything good is going to be for sale in the badge shop. Because there is a badge shop up here, so let's see. Oh, and one thing about this game that's a little crazy. In the previous Paper Mario game, you could sleep for free in an inn to heal your HP and flower points. But in this game, you actually have to pay coins to do it, which is crazy. Okay, so let's see. Anything nice in the badge shop? Let's see. FP drain. Oh, that's kind of cool. Your attack power goes down by one, but you gain one FP per hit. Deliver damage that pierces enemy defenses. That might be useful. Slowly and automatically restore FP during battle. 
Make action commands easier but gain less star power. Stomp on a single enemy using lots of attack power. Eh, I don't really care for any of these. Wait, do you have anything else for sale? Oh, okay, you can sell these, okay. Let's see, super appeal, last stand. Drop the damage you receive by half when you're in danger. That might be useful, maybe. Do you also sell anything? Oh, you don't sell anything. You know what, let's buy this. Oh, and you only need one badge point. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, sure, let's take that. Maybe that'll save us in some kind of situations, but yeah, so let's take that there. Now we are actually using some of our badge points. And you know what I want to do in this playthrough? I might make this playthrough badge points only. Like, when we level up, no boosting HP, no boosting flower points. You can use badges to boost your HP and flower points if you want to. But yeah, we might go without that. Wait, how many items do we have? Oh, we already have some items, so I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more items because we already have some. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go find out where we have to go. I equipped the badge, right? I'm pretty sure I just equipped the badge. Okay, so now where we are going to go- wait, isn't there something back here? Let's see, okay, there's a guy over there. Wait, is there a star piece here? I keep expecting there to be star pieces everywhere, but I'm not finding it. Wait, 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 I think there's a star piece up here. There we go, okay, finally we got a star piece. Okay, yeah. What are star pieces for? I know in the previous Paper Mario game you could trade star pieces for badges. I'm not sure if it's the same this time. Oh, that guy over there. You have to either pay him coins or fight him to go across, and it's actually kind of hard. Especially in our current state. Okay, so we're just gonna go into the sewers over here. Let's save. We can go to the left, but there's no reason to go there right now. So where we are going to go, we can now go across this way because we now have the, uh, you know what? Oh, whoops, wrong button, wrong button. I don't want your help right now, Goombella. Where I want to go is over here. Over here! Okay. Now, look at this. Look at this little tentacle here. I whacked it. Bloop! Bloop! Ouch, that hurt! And look at that. We have question marks on our heads now. And what's going to come out? It is going to be the great blooper fight. Oh, wait. Maybe this is going to be a good time to use a fire flower? I'm not sure if this is a good time to use a fire flower. Bloop! Bloop! Who just up and whacked someone's tootsies like that? Bloop! Bloop! Somebody with some serious moxie. That's who. Bloop bloop! Bloop bloop! Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy! Bloopity bloop bloop! He's in a world of hurt! Okay, how tough is this fight going to be? Bloop bloop bloop! I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample! Hey Mario! You remember what Professor Flan frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can put me in front. Okay, let's do that, Goombella. You're gonna go first. Oh, oh! I thought that we could ta- I thought that you could tattle on both the, uh... The enemy and the tentacles individually, but I guess it's just one. That's a blooper and a really super humongous one too. <laughs> it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. GROS has gross. Max HP is 12, attack is one, defense is zero. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it will fall down and then it's attack time, more like hammer time. The tentacles each have three HP. Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blooper, okay. Wait, can I attack? I can only attack these. Okay, so you know what? You know what? We do have power smash. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do though. I'm actually going to defend this turn. Here's my plan. Hey, mustache! You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it! Bloop, bloop! Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn bloopin' or no. I'd rather bloop. I'd rather bloop. Oh, oh, he tried to attack me, but I had defense up so it didn't hurt me. Oh, I missed the action command. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. We do have a fire flower. We got this from a block, I think. So this fire flower is going to damage everyone, which is nice. So the tentacles have three HP. Fire flower deals three damage to everyone, so that's pretty good. Now this guy's going to fall down. Now Goombella can, wait. Okay, good, good, good. We got that action command, very nice. Hey, okay. and I'm gonna go for a power smash over here. Let's see. And, okay, that did a good amount of damage. Now he got some nice stylish moves like this, okay. Whoa! Whoa, I thought that would fall on us. That scared me. Okay. Now this guy's got three HP, so we can't take him out this turn. He's got just one HP left now. Please tell me he's not getting back up. Come back. Oh! Oh, he's still standing. Hooray! Okay. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's practice Goombella's jump attack, cuz... Okay, there we go. There we go. I just want to make sure that I'm timing that well. But it's very nice that we got that. Okay, and 20 star points for beating this guy. That's lovely. And he flies away, crashes through the ceiling, and all of a sudden these platforms appear. 
Well, that's nice. I can jump here. Oh boy, these jumps are actually so scary. Go! Okay, and Goobel just falls in the water like that. It's okay if she falls in the water though. Down the pipe we go. Now is this where chapter one begins? I think we just finished prologue and this is now chapter one. Will we see this new scene? Very nice. Very nice, the curtains open and here we are. Bowser coin, x Knots coin, Mario coin, Peach coin, and then it repeats. Castle and Dragon, Chapter 1. Okay, we've got some beautiful music playing here, and we are now at Petal Meadows. So that was like the prologue boss fight that we just did, I guess. And oh boy, I still remember my first time ever making it over here. What a great start to the Paper Mario adventure over here. Well, to this Paper Mario game. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome! And we can, of course, save over here. And hold on, hold on, do these trees have anything nice? Oh nice, the star piece is very nice. I thought there was a star piece and a mushroom, amazing. The so mushroom heals you five HP if you use it. And look at this, we noticed something. Look up in the sky. Oh, look at that big shadow that just went by. It's like a giant dragon is flying by us over here. Very scary times over here. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a, whoa, Mario, look. And in the background, will we get to see it? Look at that, there goes the dragon. Hooktail, right? I think that's the name of the dragon. Reminds me a little bit of the dragon from Shrek. Guys, let me know in a comment if you've seen the movie Shrek before. Totally incredible! I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy! We just started and already there's intrigue! Come on, Mario, let's go! Let us go indeed. Let's see, what's in here? Probably... Oh, another mushroom. That's very nice. In here is... Nothing. Nothing in that tree. Hey, we're probably gonna come across some enemies soon. Oh, I think in this, there's a, oh boy, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, but I guess we can take out these guys. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's nice. We got a first strike, so we just get to damage them before, uh, before it's our turn, because now it's actually our turn, so let's see. And there we go. Okay, and I don't have to do stylish. Don't have to do a lot of stylish moves. It just takes extra time. Okay, so we got some more star points. That's nice. Oh, and there's a badge. Close call! Oh, you know what? Why not put that on too? Because we have the badge points and we don't have anything else to wear. Yeah, so when Mario's in danger, sometimes enemies might miss. But right now, we have a kind of defensive build. Wait, what does this do? I don't remember where this brings us. Oh, up here. But, can't reach that yet, can we? Maybe if you make a really crazy jump, let's try. Go! No, we can't reach it. Oh boy, we can get kind of close, but yeah, we can't reach that yet. There are two things that we could do to possibly reach that. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful information that'll help us on our adventure. But yeah, let's see. Oh, don't come to me, Goombas. Don't come to me. Okay, I just searched, uh, those bushes, and then this happened over here. Oh, I'm like, wait, are we gonna come out? Okay, but there we go. Now we're over here. And look at this. We hit that button in the background. That's actually something that's so cool, how like you could go between the foreground and the background with certain pipes. And this is super cool how they make this bridge over here appear. It's like a book that's flipping through the pages and the bridge starts to appear. Paper Mario has a lot of really cool things like that. Even in the original Paper Mario, they had some things like that. But yeah, in Paper Mario TTYD stands for uh, the Thousand Year Door. They've also got some cool stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. Does, oh, mystery. Does this one have a sleepy sheep? Oh, Fire Flower, even better. Okay, that's amazing, okay. We're getting a few items. Mystery, I don't know if I'll use that. Can we even sell it? If we sell it, we can maybe get like a single coin for it. Oh, and look at this village. We made it to Petalburg over here. What a cool looking place over here. I love how we're just standing on the loading zone. We walk out like this. Hello there, Koopa Troopa. Welcome, travelers. Ah, Dio. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had any visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yeppity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon, hooktail, that must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Oh, scary name. Pfft. So, anyway, green boots, have you ever heard of these things called the crystal stars? We're on this quest for them, it's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm, nope, can't say I have. Sorry about that. Might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff that we don't. Koopas of his age are, uh, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You go check it out. A pink house sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Yes, yeah, so let's go check out the pink house. Okay, you don't want to go into the water. Oh, let me show you guys what happens if you go into the water. Let's save first. Here's what happens if you go into the water. 
There's this big chumpy fish that comes out and it actually damages you. You lose an HP for that. Okay, so we of course want to go look for the pink house so that we could go to the mayor. Where's the mayor going to be? Oh, right there's the pink house. Okay, so we could go there. Oh, and I remember this lady. I can't remember if this is our friend's... Well, we'll find out soon. Okay, let's go over here first. Hello there. Oh, what's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa! Despicable! I'm like, no, 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 we're not thieves! Go on, do what you will! But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here! Oh, I guess I have a little money! Take it, you fiends! And my antique shell, too! Just leave the photos of me and the missus! Can't do without those memories! Aw, oh, that's so sweet! What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait! You folks looking for crystal stars? Yes, we are! Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here! Crystal stars, you say you're hunting? Uh, wait. What did I hear about those darn things again? Ah, got it! Hooktail! Hooktail's got what you're looking for! It's this enormous ornery dragon! Each folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby stackings have all of us on pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes enough to rough it up? What? Hold on now, or you got it! This does sound promising! Well, if you could rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards! Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Of course I won't, or I didn't say that! What an unselfish man! You're noble indeed! Yep, a good egg! Now, what did you say your name was again? Mario! Murphy? Uh, that's a fine name! Yes, a fine name indeed! Well now, Murphy, it's Mario! I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up, it's so funny that he can't hear us. If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need the stone keys. Okay, so we gotta go to Schwank Fortress, which actually sounds something like, it sounds like it's made up. Well then, Murphy, get along, go take care of that Hooktail monster. Let's go. Yeah, it's so funny that he mishears us and he ends up saying funny things instead. Okay, so now, Oh, we got an email. You got an email. Wait a minute. We can just get emails randomly? What in the world? Hey, I'm not checking my emails. An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least, it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. If the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Thank you for opening the gate for us. Yeah, now we can go across. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Look who it is! The Koopa guy in a hoodie over here. It's funny, how's he wearing a hoodie and a shell? Pardon me for yelling like that. Oh, I was panicking. How to begin? My name's Koops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So, so anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Well, uh, I'll just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. And then he walks away. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Yeah, and he does have some issues. We're gonna find out all about that soon. Okay, let's see anything nice here. Anything here? Oh, nice! Hey! Oh boy, I went on the wrong side of the fence. A lovely- Wait! Oh, can you not collect items with your hammer in this game? I know in the original Paper Mario you can. I guess over here maybe we can't. But yeah, that was weird how we couldn't collect the star piece with the hammer. I'm expecting there to be like items and stuff over here. Okay, let's just make our way around. Oh, oh boy! Koopa, stay back, Koopa! Oh, a coin! I should have gotten the coin! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back, I wanna check what's in that block. I gotta check what's in the block. I need what's in the block. Let's see, come here, bro, come here, bro. Come here, bro, okay, now, go. Oh, boy! I'm so scared that we're gonna accidentally jump on him. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Now leave me alone. Hey, now go. Pow block, I need the pow block, I need the pow block. Gotta get the pow block, it's a nice item. And there we are, we got the pow block. Okay, I'm so glad that we got that because I think that might help us out. Not now, but soon. Very, very soon, actually. Hey, hello there, guys. Do I have to battle you guys first or something? Okay, down they come. And hold on, let's hammer them. Hammer them. Yeah, we struck first. I don't know if we'll be able to damage it. Will we be able to damage it? How high is its defense? Let's see. And that did no damage. Oh, boy. How strong are these guys? Let's use Tattle on them. Bald Clef. Let's see. That's a bald cleft, basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Uh, it's so sad. Two HP, one attack, two defense. Rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. You might be best to use a pow block. You know what? I'd like to save the pow block, because maybe we actually have to use that pow block. For now, let's use this. Is that enough? Okay, nice. That's enough damage to take them out, so that's perfect. 
And wait, wait, wait. Oh, we could probably do this too. Wait. Ah, the timing wasn't good. Yeah. If you can do... Wait, 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 wait. Do we... Okay, we still do have enough flower points. I was wondering if we'd have enough flower points. But yeah, it seems like um, you could also just use the B button and do a super guard so that they get damaged back. You could probably do that back on them too. Okay, but we were able to take out these guys without too many problems. Now this gate opens up for us. Now it's lovely that we can head across here. Man, the character models just look so clean and crisp with the HD mod. It looks so good. Okay, let's see. Man, that shell goes real fast. Okay, nothing in there. I just gotta explore around here because maybe there's some stuff that we need. You know if there are coins? We'll take the coins. And you know what? It's like we don't have to avoid the enemies, but it's like, oh yes, another power block. Yes, give me that power block. There we are, okay. Now things are starting to look pretty nice over here. Oh, but here's some spooky guys over here. These guys, I think you maybe actually need the power block to defeat them this early on. Because look, with the hammer, we're not going to be able to damage them. Oh wait, I think we actually get hurt if we walk up to them, right? The spikes come out. Yeah, they have a defense mechanism over here. Yeah, so that's not going to work on them. Okay, so let's tattle on them. Tattle will give us some information. That's a bristle. It's covered in spikes. It's prickly. 2 HP, 1 attack, 4 defense, and impervious to fire. If you try and get close, then they damage you. Yeah. So you better use an item. So the item that we're going to have to use is, of course, a POW block. Oh, and I guess this should defeat them, right? We'll just flip them upside down or defeat them. Okay, it actually defeats them. It did both, actually. It flipped them upside down and it defeated them. Okay, that's good. We're all out of flower points, though. We have zero flower points left. Okay, so we want to head through here. And soon we're going to make it to Schwonk's Fortress. Every time I say that, it just sounds like it's something fake. It doesn't sound like it's a real thing. Schwonk's Fortress sounds made up. I want to check that block there. Fire flower! Give me the fire flower! Yeah, there we are. Okay, now let's just avoid this fellow over here. Come on, come on. Attack. Attack, bro. Go. Okay, now just let me over here. Oh, and that's an in coupon down there. You can use that. That was so weird how my hammer didn't connect there. Yeah, with the uh, inn coupon, it lets you go to an inn for free. Because in this game, normally you actually have to pay to use an inn, which is kind of surprising. And we saw a heart block outside there, but you actually have to pay coins to use the heart block, which might also be surprising. Okay, now let's have a chat with this guy. Hello there, Mr. Schwonk. And what do you have to say? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're the first contestant I have seen in a while. Come all the way here to Schwonk Fortress. You must want stone keys. If that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you throw to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Mm, ho ho ho! So, what do you want to do? I'll take you on! Let's go! Oh ho ho! You're in for it now! Let's see. That's so cool how the jigsaw pieces fall away like that. And it's time for our game show! Hey, ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quark Quiz! And I think this is making a reference to in the original Paper Mario where we have the 64th annual quiz or whatever. Perk up those ears! If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. What a funny word, unusual punishment. First question, what's hidden in this place? Stone keys, crystal star, princess peach, or pickle stone? Everyone, please leave a comment. What do you think it is? I think it's stone keys. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes, and we got it correct. Very nice confetti here. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it gets harder from here, so prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the Pedalberg shop? Total. Okay, I actually don't know because we didn't stop by this shop. I'm guessing 12 or 16, though. 16. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Does he ask that every time you're right? Okay, yeah, it was right. Very nice. Okay. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy. It gets harder. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's hear it. Oh, and I like how he's wearing a bow tie. That's actually so funny. What is the name of the mayor? Uh, Couscous, Bertle, Mupa, or Croup? I guess Croup, right? Right? All right, very nice so far. Okay. Question four. Tell me now, where is the Crystal Star? Hooktail Castle, Rogueport, Mushville, or Petalburg? Hooktail Castle, right? All right, very nice. Oh, that time he didn't ask, are you sure? Tell me, you didn't just get your fourth answer right, it can't be true. Wait, I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Okay, okay. Okay, die bulk question number five. How can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogueport? Boat across the sea only by air, go through a pipe, race in a cart. Yes, you have to play Mario Kart. No, I think it's go through a pipe, right? 
Yes, I'm sure of my answer. All right, okay, five right. Does that mean we win now? No, that is right. You correctly answered five questions. You win, I don't believe it. Okay, the jigsaw pieces come back. That's so cool. Wait, okay, yeah, there's the last one too. Very nice. So, very angry, I can't believe I lost. So I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. Okay, and? Oh, oh, that's right. We don't just get the key given to us. We have to go down there. Yeah, there's something that's a little tricky here, if I remember correctly. Okay, so let's go down the pipe. Man, these graphics just look so crisp. It looks very, very crisp, okay? Multi-bounce, wait. We actually want that over here. Uh, I think we're fine how we are. Okay, so let's go over here first. Oh, oh, we have to go left and right, if I remember correctly. Okay, so let's go here. Hello there, Fuzzy chasing us along. Oh, now there's a Fuzzy over there. That Fuzzy is jumping around like mad, but made it past him, no problem. Hey, it's the Moonstone. Oh, and you can't pick it up with your hammer. Yeah, in the original Paper Mario, you can, but in this one, I guess you can't. Okay, now Fuzzy comes down in battles. Wait, this is probably one where we can't flee, right? It can't flee this fight. How much HP do these guys have? Let's see. Let's see, how much HP do you guys have? Fuzzy, wait. That's a fuzzy, what a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine, that's so funny. Okay, three HP, one attack, zero defense, and they suck your HP away. Yeah, and you have to time it. The timing's pretty difficult for, uh, for defeating these guys. Mm. So let's go like this. I think hammering this guy will be okay. And hold on. Okay, nice block, good job. Now for these, I'll try and use B. Nice! Okay, that timing's crazy hard, let's see. Ah, I missed it, I was too late. And you can see they start to heal their HP, but they're at full HP, so it doesn't matter if I miss it. Oh man, and I missed another one. Oh, that is so sad. So sad. Okay, so I'll jump on this one, of course. Very nice. And now... Mario can attack the next one. Oh, oh, if we get this, hold on, let's see. Usually I'm really good at this. Yeah, all right, okay, how cool is that? Bingo, okay, so we got all of our HP and flower points max, and a bunch of people come into the audience over here, which is also pretty cool. Hey, okay, let's hammer this guy, that's just a quick way to take him out. We can go like that, very nice, okay, you're defeated. Now just these two, okay, I'll just go for regular blocks. Ah, I missed it. I missed even the regular block. That was so much later than I expected. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, just a regular block there. Okay. Oh, are you gonna drop something on us as Shy Guy goes back there? Oh, nice. That guy just got attacked. Okay, the back guy got attacked. So, let's go like this. Come on. Okay, good. Thank goodness the timing was good there. Okay. Yeah, because if I missed that timing, that would not have been good. You know what? Uh, I'm tempted to use a power smash just to finish him off. But I think we're gonna have another battle in a moment, so I'll just do this. Okay, now let's see, just go for it. Ah, I took the risk. I went for the super guard and we got it. Oh my goodness. The runners of this game are incredibly good at super guards. Like, they are incredible. Okay, let's get going then. And... Fuzzy caught us over here. You know what, I don't want him using that on us. Let's run away. Hey, do we lose lots of coins for running away? Please don't. Ah, we lost some coins. Get the coins back and then run. Run, 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 Mario, run. Okay, good, we made it out, very nice. Okay, that went all right. Okay, let's go to the right now. Over here, oh, stop it, 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 stop it. Okay, come on now, and... Don't camp the door, no camping. This is a no camping zone. Hey, wait, what if we get this one? Sunstone, okay, nice, we got the sunstone and the moonstone. Another battle, come on, bros, come on, bros. Okay, how many are here? Okay, four of them, and you know what? They've got a fire flower, I'll go like this. I'll use my fire flower on you. The fire flower does three damage to everyone and they all have three HP, so we should just take out all of them easily like this. I don't know if you get to keep the fire flower that they had though. Oh, and it looks like we're leveling up actually. Yeah, we leveled up. Okay, so we're gonna do something crazy. At the beginning, oh, that's so funny how the speakers stick out like that. That's actually hilarious. Okay, we are going to level up badge points only in this playthrough. That is my plan for now. At the beginning, it's gonna seem like a silly idea, and it might even be more difficult to play like this at first, but later on, I think it'll be a good choice. 
Let's see. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, and... No! Oh, come on! Why can't you make it through the door, bro? Okay. It's just these two. You know what? I don't want to fight him, so let's run away. Okay, very nice. Now, go through the door before we lose too many coins. Oh, and look at this! A golden fuzzy! New York! Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place! And coming here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers! If you want a warm welcome, too bad! Now I lunch on your head! Okay, sure. Lunch on my head. Okay, this is kind of like a mini boss fight in a way. Okay, can't flee this fight. Wait, how much HP does this guy have? Let's see. Because I remember this fight being different. I think something's gonna happen soon. That's a gold fuzzy! Whoa, these are super rare! I'm serious, wow! 10 HP, 1 attack, 0 defense. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. Okay, let's do a power smash, then. And... Nice. And... Oh, nice stylish move. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have two poison mushrooms. Uh-oh. Hey, ow! You chumps are tougher than you look, but I'm not through yet. Everyone get him! Yeah, he's gonna call over lots and lots of fuzzies over here. So many fuzzies, a giant fuzzy swarm over here. Oh my goodness. Wait. Oh, goodbye toads. Okay, now. Get ready. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. That dealt a lot of damage. Oh boy! I thought he was gonna suck our HP, but he just jumped on us. Hey, do we just have to defeat the back guy? Oh, I missed the action command. It's so hard to see. Okay. I guess I gotta go for a jump here. Let's see. Okay, nice. He's at only 3 HP. Don't- No, bro! Bro, that's so unlucky. Oh my goodness. That's so unlucky. Oh my goodness. Okay, we might be dying soon. Uh-oh. Oh, lucky, yes! Thank goodness we had that badge equipped. Thank goodness we had that badge equipped. That's because of the uh, close call badge. Wait, not close call. What's the one that makes it so that uh, an opponent might miss if you're in danger? But yeah, that's what happened. Okay, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, should I go for this? Please land. No! No, we missed. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Let's see. Come on. Good blocks. Okay, good. Blocked all of them, and... I should have gone for the B attack. If we use the B attack, and I landed it, then he would have been defeated. Okay, but hold on. Let's see. Yeah, we didn't have to land the action command. I didn't. But yeah, okay, so once you defeat the gold guy, then everyone's gone. Okay, so that's nice. We are pretty unlucky, though. We are really unlucky, yeah, so every time you attack- I don't know if it's every time you attack or every time you have a turn. What happens is, uh, some random thing gets rolled in the top right corner. And if you get the three shine sprites like we had earlier, then that's very lucky. But if you get the three poison things like we just got, then that's very unlucky. Should I heal for five coins? Nah, we don't need a heal, we can keep going. Oh boy! Don't hit me, bro. I'm taking the in coupon, though. Maybe we should stop by the inn right now. Stopping by the inn might be good. Yeah, because usually when I get an item like an inn coupon, or whenever I get any kind of item that can be used up in a game, like in an RPG game or Pokemon or something, then I always think like, oh, I have to save this for a time when I really, really need it. And then what ends up happening is I just save it for the entire game and I never use it, because I'm always like, maybe there'll be a time when it's more important to use this. I'm. Very much the, uh, I'm very much a delayed gratification kind of person. Okay, but we're almost back to town. Man, Mario moves kind of slowly in this game. Maybe I should edit the game and make Mario go a little bit faster. Okay, but we are here. That's the good news. Oh, and while we are here, you guys need to remember this person here, this bob bomb here. I'm pretty sure his name is General White, if I remember correctly. Okay, you know what? Let's stop by this hotel over here. Or, well, the inn, I guess. Five coins a night, not bad. And yes, I will use the in coupon, so that way we don't spend any money. Mario goes, it's so funny how he just sleeps like that. That painting on the wall kind of looks like SpongeBob's mother, the potato. Did you sleep well, sir? Do come back soon. Yes, thank you very much. I did sleep well. It's so funny how Goombas and Koopas were originally enemies in the Mario game, but now it's like, do you have teammates and partners that are Koopas and Goombas? Oh, and speaking of, uh, Koopas, uh, excuse me. It's Mario, right? Look, I, uh, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hopes of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you could say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. He's so nervous. Uh, see, I was wondering, 
Would you? Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail. Please, I'm begging you. I was like, oh, sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I was like, hmm. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started for his sake, for everyone's sake. Look at the backstory they're giving this guy. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. It's so important to be strong. He wants to avenge his father. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario? Nope, sorry. What? But, but why can I go? Why can't I go? I don't think so. Well, if that's how you feel, I'm not giving up hope, though. I promised myself I wouldn't. Uh... If you change your mind, Mario, let me know. I'll be over there polishing my shell. Can't have an adventure without a dull shell. No, we need him with us. Sure, come along. Let's go. For real? No kidding? Yay, thank you so much. You won't regret this. I just wanted to see what would happen if we said no. I didn't actually want to say no. Koops has joined your party. So it's just like the original Paper Mario. You start off with a Goomba partner, and then you get a Koopa partner. Koops' ability is a primer. Press X to shoot out his shell. Yeah, and you can hold X to, uh, to uh, make uh, Koops stay, and then he can go backwards. Yeah, and Koops can also help out in battles, which is pretty cool. He's a pretty good teammate. Especially if you're up against a lot of uh, ground-type Or not ground-type enemies, but enemies on the ground. Oh, someone here goes, Oops! Is this his mom or his girlfriend? I can never remember. Oh, golly, uh, hi! Oh, I guess this is his girlfriend or crush or something. Hi, Koopy! Koopy Koo! Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail, but you're choking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher. For you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's, it's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you. So don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Yeah, you need supportive friends. Fine, ignore me. Why is she attacking us both? Stubborn Koopa! Oh no. Hopefully we don't get damage from that. I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I'll come back to you a stronger Koopa. Good promise. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Let's go. Oh wait, do we want to get that star piece in the background? Oh, I guess if we uh go here and then we walk along all the way, then we can go and get that star piece. Okay, so I'll probably speed up this part of the video. Okay, there we go. We got the star piece. Now we can continue on our adventure. Stay back, Goomba. Stay back, Goomba. Stay back, Goomba. Man, the enemies are so much harder to avoid in this game than in the original Paper Mario. In the original Paper Mario, you can go so fast that it's kind of easy to avoid them because you also have a spin dash attack. We can collect this with a... Wait, what's the button? Oh, this button. There we go. Good job, Koops. Okay, now let's see. Let's put on some more badges. Happy Heart or Multi-Bounce or all of them. Sure. Let's have all of our badges equipped now. We can equip all of our badges. Very nice. Because, well, we do have enough badge points. Oh, and you know what else we can do? We can do this. We can test out his new attack. Or, well, our new attack. Just like that. And there we go with this special attack that uses up some flower points. You can attack all ground enemies, which is pretty cool. That's a nice way to take out this guy. And we got a single coin for it. Lovely. I'm so glad that we got that one coin. Okay, but now, we're gonna have to do something here. Okay, let's go like this. Sunstone goes in there, and over here, the Moonstone goes here. The moonstone's in place, now what? Oh, oh, I remember what happens. Look at this. Those rocks go away, and what happens is, uh, oh, oh, this is gonna tell us something. Hold on. Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hit its both switches simultaneously. Addendum. If ye are a Petalberg Koopa, huzzah! Your hold ability maketh this chore a snap. I love the way that they speak there. That's so funny. Okay. So yeah, we need to hold Koops like that. And then when we let go with him, he's going to release. And we have to hit both switches at the same time. There we go. Okay, so I let go. So Koops hit that switch. And we hit this switch at the same time. And now, that breaks away. And there's the pipe. Let's go. Is it time to go to Hooktail's castle now? Yeah, looks like a pipe appears there in the background. Let's go then. Very exciting times over here. Oh my goodness. The Hooktail's castle we go. And it's a pretty big castle once we get inside. So let's get in here. Oh my goodness. We are in the castle. How nice and spooky is this? What a cool area we're in. And man, 
The HD mod, I know I've said this a bunch of times, but the HD mod makes this area just look phenomenal. How cool does this area look? Oh my goodness, look at this. How cool does this castle look? Hooktail Castle. Okay, so we're gonna bounce up that spring in the background in a moment, but first, let's see if there's anything down here. Okay, here we go, we come through. Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. Okay, is there something down here for us? I can't remember if there's something down here. Okay, some scary jumps. Go, go! Go, and get that for me, bro. Yeah, there we are, HP plus. Increase maximum HP by five. Yeah, so we are not going to be boosting our HP or flower points by leveling up, but if we do want to boost our HP or flower points using a badge, I think that that is allowed in this challenge because it's like we're technically not boosting it by leveling up. The challenge is just, uh, the challenge that we are setting for ourselves is that when we level up, we will only upgrade badge points. But if we use badges to boost our HP or flower points or anything, and that is permitted. Now, we are over here. Hello there, we will enter the door. Oh, I remember this music. The music that plays here is so cool. It actually reminds me a bit of uh, the original Paper Mario game. Reminds me a bit of a Tubba Blubba's castle, actually, from the original Paper Mario game. Oh, we actually don't want to go there because that's just the exit. Oh boy, some of these guys are gonna be difficult to avoid. Man, the enemies in this game are so tough to avoid. Let's see. Where are you going, where are you going, where are you going? Give me the badge. Give me the badge! Power bounce, jump on one enemy until you miss an action command. That is actually so useful. Wait, in this game, is it actually keep bouncing until you miss an action command, or is there a cap? Oh, it's so funny, I jumped during this cutscene, now I'm so far away from Koops. Oh no, no! Oh, oh no! And he walks over here. He thinks that this is his dad here. These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father, dad. Oh, and he notices something. Uh, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least his, uh, bones are. So, what should I do, read it or don't read it? Read it, because look what happens. You guys will find out what happens. I remember what happens. Okay, I, I can do this. I'll read it. Ahem. <clears throat> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The Dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with CR and end with Icket. So I guess that means Cricket. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son. Colorado, I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? No, it's Coops! Like, uh-oh, this isn't my dad after all. Uh, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Okay, we can see if there's a key back there. Wait, you're getting up soon, aren't you? Wait, do we have a... Uh... You maybe need more flower points. Okay, wait, let's see you, though. Hello there, I'd like to interact with you. Bluff, 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 bluff! You clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no farther, and from this moment on, you will be nothing but bones! Hey, 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 Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we gotta go find that red guy. Oh! Uh, what are they doing? Ouch! It's no use, Mario! They're all over me, man! What should we do? Gotta smack these guys around like this. Let's see, where's the red guy at? Come here, red guy. I'm gonna... Get you like this. Wait, wait, let's go like this. Can I can I hammer you and get a first strike or no? Uh, I guess we can't get a first strike. We have to actually walk into it. Okay, how tough is this fight going to be? I don't know how much HP these guys have. Okay, so let's go like this. I don't have enough uh, flower points. Uh-oh. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this because I don't know how much damage this will do. Hey, does that defeat him? Okay, they're defeated. Okay, so that's good. Now I want to, uh, I kind of want to see how much HP those guys would have. But I guess I'll do this, okay, let's defend. Okay, here's my strategy, here's my strategy, here's my plan. Okay, let's do this. Okay, that bone hits hard. Oh, and he was defending, so that didn't even hurt him. Okay, so that's nice. Oh, and we have happy heart active, so that's great. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's use sweet treat. Okay, we want to flick to the left. We need to get flower points. Let's see. But where are the flower points? I don't care about the, uh, I don't really care about the hearts. I just want these flower points. Oh no, oh no, we need more, we need more, we need more. 
We need more. Where are they? Go, 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 go. Okay. And... Come on. No, 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 Get the... Oh, boy. Only three. We only got three. That's not a lot. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. I was trying to collect lots of those. Okay, but... I guess we could do this, Leslie. Will we take them out or no? Okay, those guys all only have one HP each, so that's super easy. Okay. So now, I guess if we uh, do a hammer, that'll probably do one damage. This guy probably has like five HP here, so I'm guessing that he would have five HP. Oh, and uh, too bad those didn't match up. Okay. Oh, wait, can I just go like that? Okay, nice. You can just do that. That's nice. Okay, cool stylish attack over here. Oh, look at that. Luigi's in the audience. Oh, and he's making another bone guy over here. Oh, no, that's spooky. Okay, so I guess we can go like this. Okay, very nice. So that takes him out. It's nice that they only have one HP. That's a super easy way to take them out. Okay, now hold on. Will this work? Let's see. Tap. Okay, that barely works if you do that. Okay, and there we go. Another attack. Okay, now you're probably getting defeated this turn, right? Do I also have to attack with Koops or is this enough? Let's see. That's enough. There you go. He's defeated. That's a lot of star points over there. Got a lot of star points for that. Oh, I actually should do stylish moves because stylish moves helps fill up your star bar. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, what's up next? Stay away from me. I'm getting that. I missed it. I missed it. I do want it, though. Okay, both of you can come here. Give me that. Yeah, there we are. Look at how they're running in place. You got a shine sprite. A mysterious, powerful object. Collecting these will help. You can use those to upgrade your partners and make them stronger. Okay, now then. Let's see. We want to go somewhere, but where? Let's see. Let's go like this. If you hit that... That'll make that come down, okay, and let's send Koops. Oh, nice jump, bro. Okay, and let's head over here. Now boost me up. Okay, now we can go through this door, I guess. Oh, that's just for a star piece. Wait, oh, and we can't even jump out here. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Okay, and oh, oh, I guess we can go here. And here's what we probably gotta do. We gotta bring this down. And then we can now use this. Wait, can I make this jump again? Oh, no, I fell off. That is so sad. So sad over there. Okay. Come over here. Jump here. Go. And boost me up now. Wait, do we want to go up? There is something right there for us. Oh, I can't reach. Wait, what if we go like this? Can we reach if it goes backwards? No. We can get so close. I don't think I can make that jump, though. Go. Okay, we can probably hit... We can probably hit this switch though. Let's see if we hit that. That makes. Oh, it makes the stairs switch to the other side. Interesting. I guess we'll go over there then. Let's see. What's over here? Oh, nice. There's the key. Okay, so that's the key that we needed. Very nice. Okay, we got the castle key. Now we want to uh, switch this back. I'm guessing. Wait. Whoa, that's so funny. We were on the stairs as we hit it, so then we just fell like that. Yeah, I want to make sure that we can't make that jump though, because I really would like to make this jump. I know. Later in the game, we'll be able to make it, but how about now? Yes! Okay, nice! We made the jump! Okay, that's actually a super difficult jump to make. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't a shortcut now, is it? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anywhere that we could go after that! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Stop following me! Okay. That's super cool that we were able to get that, though. Okay, and now the key, of course, for over here. Very nice! I'm so glad that we were able to make that. That was super cool. Okay, and are any of these guys gonna wake up now? Are these gonna wake up? Grab a brush, put on a little makeup. Okay, but probably want to go. Oh, I'm too slow. Okay, so let's go like this. Boost me up there, please. I know there's also the door down there, but home. Where does this bring us first? Let's see. Do you want to go through that door? Or do we want to go up this way first? Okay, over here stuff is locked. Okay, so we probably do want to go through there first. Let's try going through there first. Oh, I wonder what happens if you make the block squish you. I can't remember what happens. Okay. Is this a room where we have to rush? Okay, this isn't the rushing room. Okay, let's see. Then there might be a room where we have to rush. Oh, oh, I see something there. I see something there. Okay, wait, so let's go. What does this do? Oh, that brings that up, but I think it only stays up for a moment. Let's go like this. Okay, now bring me up here. Beautiful. And we've seen one of these before. Wait, do we need the key? What the heck? Hey, guess it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow! Wait a sec! If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something! We've seen something like this before, Mario nods. Or not! To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me- Oh, that's funny. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. 
Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? Mario's like, hey, but I let out a guy from a black chest before and I got cursed. You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous! Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse, folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Mario's like, ah, I don't know about that. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. Let's go look for a key. Is this the room where we have to rush? I think this is the one. Okay, let's see. What's the path gonna be? We have to know what path we have to take to exit safely, okay. Like, we want to go up and around that way, and then we can go down like that. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, I'm ready. Whoa, that was so weird how we got the key there. It's like I jumped while getting it. Okay, now these spikes come. It's like Mr. Beast's world's most dangerous escape room. Now the spikes are closing in on us from above. I don't like the look of this. Run! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now we know the path that we have to take. Okay, so we've got to go this way. And uh, if you take too long, then it does actually close in on you. Which is a little scary, but luckily for us, we know where we have to go because we are paying attention. Now we can see, look at that, with plenty of time left, we made it out safely. And there's also a cracked wall back there. Man, that was too close, gotta shake it off. Whew, we got the key, so let's go to that spooky chest. Okay, let's open up the chest then. Hey there, boy, I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable, what if we don't use it? No, wait, don't do that. Look, you found the key. Now just use it to open the box. Okay, let's use the key. <laughs> Fools! We have been fooled again every time we keep falling for this trap over here. Are we gonna get cursed now? Why only the most idiotic, pudding brained adult would fall for a scheme like that? The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse! No charge! Oogly boogly boo! Oogly googly goo, actually. Oogly googly boo, I think it was. <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus! And it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R! <laughs> what a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on! Press and hold R. Press and hold R now. Wait, what if you don't do it? What happens? Does he get angry? It looks like he just doesn't care. Okay. You idiot! Press and hold R! Press and hold R and be ashamed! Oh, oh, if you just tap it, he gets really angry. That's so funny how angry he gets. Yeah, but if you hold R and you become paper like this, it's funny that the curse lets you stand sideways. Ha ha ha! Just look at yourself! How embarrassing for you! Eat a sandwich, skinny! Ha! Do you understand what this curse means for you? No. You idiot! Press it, hold on! Oh, okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough of that. Enough of that explanation. We've gotten cursed a lot, okay, yes. You understand what this curse means for you, yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells! <laughs> Man, these guys that curse you are actually so funny like that. Okay, so where we want to go is now, we can actually just exit like that, which is super cool. And we can get this badge over here, Attack FXR. Changes the, uh, changes the sound effects of Mario's attack, and let's put this one on, hold on. I think that's meant to be a cricket sound, and I think that's the thing that, uh, Hooktail's weakness is, because remember we were told in that letter that Hooktail's weakness is something that starts with CR and ends in Icket? I think that's what they meant by that. Okay, so now there are maybe some new places that we can go to, or wait, do we have to go back and get a key? Or do we go up this way now? Pretty cool how this block brings us up. I like how it's lit up like that. Hey, okay, wait, we don't have the key for here yet, right? It's locked, you can't open it. Okay, maybe we have to go back. Oh, oh, but, hold on. Uh, we can't make this jump. This jump, there's no way we can make that. Yeah, we can't make that jump. Okay, so, we have to go and find the key, okay? But now we have this new paper attack. Well, not attack, I guess it's a, we were told that it's actually a curse. So maybe we'll be able to use our curse to help us in some beneficial way. And you know, in a way, it's kind of funny that it is called a curse because like, in a way it's a blessing, in a way it's a curse. It's kind of like real life, like things that you might consider to be a curse might actually be a blessing or some kind of event in your, oh wait, wait, see the key back there? We can't go through here because there are horizontal bars here, but right here, we can actually enter right there. What a great place to go. And 
There we go. He can get the key for us, so we didn't have to walk all the way over. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, now that's the key that we need. Now we should be able to continue over here. But yeah, what I was saying is, um, I'm listening to this, uh, audiobook right now. It's how to think like a Roman emperor, and there's a lot about Marcus Aurelius in it, and they also talk about Epictetus. And something that happened with Epictetus is, like, somebody broke his leg, and that's something that affected him for the rest of his life, but he just considered it as, like, an opportunity to show that he can be a good stoic and to be a good philosopher and be that kind of person. Absolutely wild. Okay, so where we are going to go is over here. But yeah, Mario's curse doesn't seem as extreme. It's something that literally helps him. It's just he's told that this is a curse. So it's quite different in a way. Okay, but let's go through here. But yeah, breaking your leg is definitely something that I think you don't want to happen. I don't know, that story maybe sounds a little bit extreme. Okay, but we hit this switch, and now we get to go across here. We can see that there's a star piece back there, and, hold on, now we use, uh, Koops over here. And yeah, the, uh, Koopa partner that you have in the original Paper Mario is called Cooper. Instead of Koops, and this one it's called Koops. Okay, let's go like that. No, he didn't reach. Bro. Go. There we go. Okay, I didn't want to walk over to the star piece. Wait, and now, you actually want to walk over all the way here. Is there a badge back here? Okay, I was wondering if maybe there would be a badge back there or something, but it looks like there's nothing back there. So let's go here. We're getting quite a few star pieces. Man, I'm seeing cobwebs everywhere here. Okay. Boy, this guy! We didn't avoid him. Do I want to beat you guys? Nah, let's just run away. I'm not too worried about them. So nice how you could just, like, fully mash like that. Bro, 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 bro. You gotta stay away. You gotta stay away, bro. Ah, whatever. Forget those coins. Forget about it, eh? Forget about those coins. We don't need those coins. Forget about it. Okay. Now we use Koops. Coming on up here. Wait. Uh, maybe I wanted that, actually. Do I want to go here? Are you alive? You're alive. Whoa. Come here, bro. You know what? I'll do this. There. How do you like that? I attacked him right as he sat down. That's so weird. Okay, but that should take out that guy. Very nice. Okay, and now... Oh, that's actually super easy if you could get them with the first strike. Because now this guy, he only has two HP. We can defeat him with a single hammer attack like that, and that's beautiful! Absolutely beautiful! And, do you have any coins for me? Nice! We got a flower point and a heart, that's amazing. You know what's here? Oh, look who it is! Remember earlier when I said keep an eye on this person here? Huh? Oh, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me! How very strange! Hey, who are you? Oh, and you know what's funny? If you have Goombella out during this interaction, then she gets really jealous. Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief! Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Well, uh, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, uh, the Crystal Star. So, uh, don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. That's so funny. Crystal Star, you say? Mm-hmm. -hmm. I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Darn! Yeah, why did you say that, Koops? Don't spill the beans. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the Crystal Star first, and I already found the badge I was after. So I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Yeah, so this mouse, this is the lady from the badge shop. And it's so funny that she goes around stealing badges and then, like, sells them at the badge shop. Oh, uh, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why does everyone, like, give Mario a kiss in the Paper Mario games? <laughs> it means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad, we just met, and already it is time to say farewell. Alas. She jumps up into the window there. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? That's so funny. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hooktail. Or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already, maybe not. I think we did. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. We'll take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. Goodbye, Miss Mouse. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of robots, that's funny. Yeah, it's so weird how before we opened the chest and we also jumped at the same time. I don't know if I've ever done anything like that before. But it was weird, that one room where we got the black key. Nice, another castle key. Okay, we can get this. Another shine sprite. Let's also check what's in here. So many chests in here. Oh, and honey syrup. Nice. Okay, so we've got a few items. Nice. Lots of cannonballs and stuff over here. How good do these textures look? This game is just like, it's so crisp. That's the best way to describe it. It's very crisp. Come down. I'll go up and I'll go around you like that. Okay, and there we go. Castle key. And there we are. 
Oh, and uh, we're almost at the uh, final boss for this chapter. Let's just get going over here, avoiding these guys. Little troublemakers here. You are a punk, okay? You are a punk! Oh my goodness, I jumped on him. That's so silly. This isn't gonna damage him. Look. Wow, amazing. Did I just use a power block here? Like, what else am I gonna use the power block for? You know, I might as well use the power block. Let's use the power block over here. Because that'll take out the two front guys, and those guys are knocked over. Now we should be able to take them out pretty easily, so let's do that. Wait, can I do this? Very nice, okay. It's so nice when that works, because if you hold that for too long, then the attack won't work. Here, let me show you guys what it normally looks like. The way that you normally do it is you hold left, and you want to release at the center, like that. But if you're super fast, then you can just tap left and let go right away. A okay, 14 star points, so we're up to 80, so we almost leveled up. And when you level up, the nice thing that happens is all of your HP and flower points and star points are all restored. But let's see. Want to be careful with our walking here. Want to go straight left and right. Too bad this controller doesn't have notches over here. A normal GameCube controller does have notches. I'm not using a normal GameCube controller right now. Okay, let's just walk straight across like this. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Hey, okay, good. Now get that, bro. Oh, I'm a step away from it. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Now don't fall. Wow, we're actually doing amazing at walking straight. That's amazing. Okay, and now we just want to fly across, right? Let's see. Do your best now, Mario. Okay. Go, and please make it onto the platform. Very nice, we made it all the way to the door. Let's get in here. Yeah, because normally you can't jump to that door, or you can't reach it. Okay, now let's see. Oh, right there is something that we need. And if we go down there, then we can get like a badge or something, I'm pretty sure. So you know what? Let's go down there. Yeah, because here's this. I should have kept coops up there, then I could have brought myself back up. Why did I not do that? Oh, but I guess what we could do on our way back is... Oh, nice! You could actually get the life shroom like that! I didn't know that you could get it. I thought that we'd have to drop down and go around, but that's great! Okay, so now we'll head on up. This will be the way that we go. Okay, so now we're back to where we were. Last time we chose to go down at that doorway. Now we're going up. Oh, nice! And just one of these over here. That's so easy. Okay. Oh, wait, I think you actually need three of these to power up a partner. Yeah, if you power up a partner, then they deal more damage. And they also learn a new ability, which is super cool. Okay, here we are. Lots of Koopas and stuff over here. Okay, let's see. Where are you guys going? You gonna attack me? Don't team up on me. Stay away from me. Okay, very nice, very nice. We made it past the Koopas on the bridge over here. Now, we are going up the tower over here. How cool is this? This really does feel like a finale over here. We are heading up the spiral tower over here. It's like something out of a fairy tale over here. Oh my goodness, it's like Shrek. This is a lot like Shrek, actually, this first chapter. Some of the later chapters in this game are absolutely incredible too. Where is that guy? I guess I gotta hammer him. Or I'll go around him. Oh no! I didn't go around him. I didn't know where he was. I couldn't see where he was. Okay. You know what? That's actually a lot of enemies. Well run. Let's go. Oh, it's so easy to mash and fill up that bar. Like, you still have so much time. You still have so much time to keep mashing, but the bar's already full. Okay, I was just focused on coins there. Okay, let's see. Uh, should I heal up before the boss? It's six coins to fully heal. And the boss is right through this door. Hey, let's keep out Goombella. Uh, you know what? I should pay the coins. Let's do it. It's only six coins. Yeah, you have to pay six coins. That's fine. That's fine. I'll pay the six coins. Ah, uh, you know what? Look at this. Power bounce. It lets you jump repeatedly until you miss the action command. But that's three badge points. Oh, man. You know, I think we'll go with these badges. I think this is, uh... I think this is a nice setup that we have over here. Hopefully this will be okay. All right, let's head inside. Here we go, the door opens and we head inside into the dark. And look at this! What is this? Who dares approach me? Let's see who it is. There's the dragon! Oh my goodness, spooky spooky dragon over here. Hooktail. Oh. So, you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier? Wait, who's the strange garbed one? I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. Wait, who is he talking about? That was foolish, I fear. You really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. That's so specific. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first! 
All right, I'm ready for our battle over here. Very exciting boss fight over here. Oh wow, the background looks so cool too. Snack time, little appetizers. But which of you morsels should I taste first? You can't flee this fight. Okay, let's see how this is gonna be. Let's use Tattle on Hooktail. Let's see how much HP Hooktail has. Is Hooktail here or is she? That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is five. Attack is five. Defense is one. It'll stomp and munch on you. And it has a much more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with CR and end in Ikit. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? Yeah, it should be that badge that we have, right? Okay, let's try this then. Let's go. And on. Go. Come on. Oh no, not much status. Oh no, we have two poison mushrooms. This is so bad. Oh, that awful sound. Sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Oh, I got really bad. Oh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. That's why they don't like crickets. Okay, what's your attack now? Oh, nice. We both blocked. That's amazing. Okay, that didn't do much damage at all then. Okay, I kind of want to swap partners. I don't want to swap to Coops. Let's try, though. Nice job, great aim. Don't be poisoned, please. Please don't give me poison. Thank goodness, okay, because we would have lost a lot of stuff if that happened. That would have been very bad. That would have been very bad indeed. Okay, let's try this. Two, one, go. Okay, very nice. And so stylish. Look at all those stylish attacks. Oh, must not gag my poor tummy. Oh, very woozy. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, I missed the block, okay. But Goombella is in, uh, in danger. So wait, do I have the badge that increases my defense when I'm in danger? Or does it make it more likely that attacks will miss? Oh no, we've got all kinds of items too. We've got a life stream that actually heals you if you, wait, when Mario or his partner falls. Oh, oh, I don't know if I really care too much about that. I don't want it to heal my partner. I'd rather it just heal me actually. Let's go like this, very nice. Now, who are you attacking? Nice block! Oh my goodness, and it did only one damage. Oh, dizzy attacks might miss. That is amazing. That is super lucky that that fell on Hooktail there. Okay, let's go like this then. Let's see. And it's also great that it damaged Hooktail because we might be winning very soon if this keeps going the way the things are going. Okay, let's see. Okay, now let's see. You've got only two HP and come on. Oh! Whoa! Even though I missed the action command, it only did one damage. This is amazing. Wow, we are so lucky. Okay, this, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, this uh, should finish it off, but I don't think that the fight is really over, right? Let's see. Let's go, and nice, stylish. Wait, oh, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. But remember what we were told? We were told that when Hooktail is losing, It'll get desperate and it'll start to do evil things and try to trick us. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? For a thousand coins? Sure. Or keep your coins, fiend. We'll choose keep your coins, fiend. We're not falling for this trick. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. And how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Rear bad sure, or keep it, you cad. We're not falling for your tricks. See how desperate this person gets when they're losing? Uh, really? Well, I suppose I can apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. It's like it's going to stomp on us. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now, really. This is such a weird thing to have in a Nintendo game. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? Maybe just a quick sniff, or that's disgusting. Obviously, that's disgusting. No. Oh, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better. Oh, and Hooktail's leaving. But watch what happens. Watch closely. Hooktail is eating up our audience. Our whole audience is gone. Everyone ran away. Wait, someone's flattened there. That's just terrible! Oh, 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 now my strength has returned to me! That's it! Enough of this! Let's finish him off once and for all, Mario! Let's go! Now we jump into the crowd. That is so cool. Okay. Umbella's still in danger, so that's not good, but we can go like this. 
I hope that the cricket sound still scares you, because I don't want us to get killed by you. Ah, why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a uh, cricket? And Nice! I'm oh! Oh, nice! The toes are actually coming out when we jump on- Oh! That I'm so glad that that fire attack is so weak. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, you're almost defeated! Let's go. Okay, and just to be sure that we are not accidentally wasting our you-know-what, uh, should I defend right now? Let's defend. Let's defend with Goombella, just to be safe. Let's see. Hopefully. Oh boy, okay, just one damage. Okay, that's alright. That's fine. You know, you're almost defeated. If I land the action command with Goombella, then we should be defeating Hooktail right now. Let's go. Okay, some nice stylish hits over there. This is actually so cool, how the battle goes into the audience like this. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, and... Uh, wait, do we get to match up our stars or no? But, but I, I, oh, uh, how, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals, that's so funny. Oh, the dragon flips over like that. 31 star points, very nice. Okay, so that looks like we level up. We are going to put it into badge points, of course, because we are playing with only badge points. I love how there's still an audience member that's flattened over there. Okay, so we are doing only badge points in this playthrough, very nice. All right, and there is the dragon knocked over. How great is that? Oh, and that means that we're gonna get the crystal star, right? Yes, we did it, Mario! Umbella looks around. All we have to do now is search for that crystal star we can't seem to locate. Oh, oh. Who's that? Oh, something's coming out. What is it? Out comes a blue shell over here. Who could it be? Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it's... It can't be! Is it Koops' dad? Hey? Dad? It is, it's his dad. Hey, you're, you're Koops! Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last! Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good, but just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I wonder what trick he fell for. I've been hiding in my shell for the 10 years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. Oh my goodness, could you imagine spending 10 years in the belly of a dragon? And boy was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. Ha ha ha. Its foot is still twitching. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For 10 long years, we all thought you'd, you know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. He's like, Crystal Star? Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? You have the Crystal Star? Yeah, that is what we're looking for. What's that? I found it down there at Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect, just perfect. You can have, wait, what about all the other toads that were eaten by Hooktail? Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please, take it. Oh, yeah. All right. We got the first crystal star. How great is that? I love the way that spins around Mario like that. Man, these graphics are phenomenal. This texture, this HD texture pack looks amazing. You got a crystal star. And you learned the new special move, Earth Tremor, which is an incredibly powerful ability. And with that, end of chapter... Oh, I thought it was gonna say end of chapter one. Wait, but there's still more? Look at this, you have to see this. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Hoops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where can Princess Peach be? Yeah, I actually forgot that we were looking for Princess Peach. I kind of forgot about that. It's like she's just always missing in every Mario game. So I didn't really think that we would find her. Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Save all game progress up to this point, yes. Oh, oh, but there's still something else in chapter one before chapter two starts. Even though it said end of chapter, there's the Princess Peach cutscene. So over here we see all these Mario symbols over here, which is pretty cool, but you have to see what happens next. Wait, or is it gonna be Bowser first? Oh, this looks a little weird. Okay, yeah, because the TV screen is a little off. Yeah, so normally you're only able to see what's inside this screen over here. Yeah, so normally you shouldn't be able to see what's off to the side. 
Oh, great, exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Oh, wow. What was that? Well, well, my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Here's the evil leader. Princess Peach will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. Didn't she send it to Mario? There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x nuts are not all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, they're quite nasty. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's so cool how they have a hologram like that. Brodus, sir, I have news. Report that once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more to you. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Peach speaks out and says it's Mario. Excuse me, Mario? Peach is like, uh-oh, I was caught. I said it. I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. I like how they do the X like that because they're X That's so funny. Oh, and here's this guy. Home was this guy's name Grotus? Oh, this Grotus is the big leader. Crump is this little guy over here. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, and it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star we're hunting in Bugly Woods, you must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that a oh, right, sure, Roger Grotus? Uh, and with that, pow, I'm gone. Wait, he didn't do the X thing to say goodbye. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Um, x not I summon you. Here comes the x not They do the little X thing like that. Rang, dude. Uh, I mean, sir. You rang, sir. Grotus, dude. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the Shadow Sirens, sir, but they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha. All right, what are the shadow sirens? Oh boy, this is spooky. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. And here they come, popping out of the ground over here. Ah, pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. Oh, and we are introduced to these new characters here, these new shadow sirens over here. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Vivian is such a lovely name. Good. What about Vivian? <laughs> And off they go. And now we're looking through the computer screen because there's actually a computer in this facility. And right now we are taking a look at things through the eyes of the computer. Like the computer can look at Princess Peach and everything through its computer lens. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Wait, is this door locked? Ah, oh, doesn't seem to open. Okay, so let's look over here. Yes, we are now playing as Princess Peach. This is something that started in the first Paper Mario game where it's like between chapters, you play as a Princess Peach, which is pretty cool. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Wow, wonder if it works. And time for Princess Peach to take a shower over here. 
She just puts down her entire dress like that. You can see the water running over there, got some steam. Oh, and I think her hairstyle is going to change. So remember what her hair was like before her shower. Ah, oh, hee hee. And she's gonna grab her, wait, does she use the towel first or the dress? It would make sense if she used the towel first. Towel texture looks like it didn't change. It looks like it's still the default towel. But the dress, you can see that it looks like it's been edited to be new. Same with like the toilet and some other stuff. Yeah, her hair is different. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. All right, now let's see. Are we going over here now? Oh, Princess Peach noticed all of a sudden. The door opens for us. Huh? What was that? Hey, how old? The doors open by themselves. Now our hair is back to normal. Okay, so let's go over here. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Yeah, so why did the door open? What could be happening? And yeah, we can't go here. It doesn't work. Yeah, we can't use these elevators. Oh, this is actually mind-blowing. If if you guys don't know where we are right now, if this is your first time seeing this game, it's actually so cool to find out, like, all this stuff that's going on in the background here. It's crazy. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd! It's almost like 2001 A Space Odyssey or something. That was, uh, a lot of people really like that movie. I watched it, and I don't know. I wasn't too into it, personally. Like... I don't know, maybe it's just because it's too old? Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? Yeah, this is just like the guy from 2001 A Space Odyssey. How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am Hall. I mean, Tech XX. Betty, call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait! He's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. I doubt I'll change your mind. So, I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. Hopefully you weren't observing her when she was in the bathroom when she was showering. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. The computer has a crush on Princess Peach. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. <laughs> These events are new to me. Yeah, the computer has a crush on, crush on Princess Peach. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostics programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. That sounds so creepy. This is so weird. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Peach is starting to realize what's happening. Could it be, could it be that you... No, impossible, it can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, uh, I couldn't really because... It's just too weird. And the text gets smaller. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. What a funny computer. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy. Smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. That's a great definition. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Dot, 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 dot. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please, if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You ex-church kidnapped me like common Koopas. Common Koopas, that's so funny. And now, you call me in here and ask you to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh? Why should I even believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. 
You need not teach me now. That is such a good line. That is so funny. I love this line. I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. That's way too funny. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. You understand me, Princess Peach. Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course, you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anyone you want. If you wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. He's gonna send an email to Mario, right? You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Wow, Peach types really fast. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? And look at the little mail icon that appears. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Each starts to walk away. Uh, okay then. Good night. Each walks out of the door. The door closes. Good night, Princess Peach. Imagine having a computer watching you at all times. I guess we don't really have to imagine. That kind of is what is happening to a lot of us now. Just like the book 1984 by George Orwell. Ah, oh, right. Oh, man, that was exciting. Okay, so now the Princess Peach cutscene is done. Oh, now it is the Bowser cutscene. Now we get to play as Bowser. This is exciting. Let's see what's going on at Bowser's castle. Man, the HD mod just looks way too good. This looks so good. This looks incredible. This looks like it could be a Nintendo Switch game. These graphics are so good. It looks like a modern game. Like, this game does not look like it is from 2004. Yeah, 2004, games did not look this good. Maybe in our minds they looked this good, but really they didn't. Whoa, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. Now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Cammy Koopa, back from the original Paper Mario. Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. Really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. All right, and we're now playing as Bowser. How cool is this? Well, the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing lovingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Well, uh, may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Ah, Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. Ah! And they blows fire on them. What about you? Hello, sir. Lord Bowser, I've been training all day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, tubby. Ha! <laughs> okay, is that everyone? Let's see, what about you? Hello there. Hey, Lord Bowser! Oh, does this guy just say the same thing? Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Yes, let us go. Hey, do you want to talk or no? Okay, look at the painting there. It's funny that that painting hasn't been updated yet, but everything else looks super HD. Ah, Lord Bowser! Here comes Cammy Koopa. Oh, she's tired by the time she made it to that in the hall. That's so funny. Oh, oh. I have just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. Bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. Pfft, am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. Uh, treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. How are you researching? Are you using Google, Cammy? Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world conquering tools. I want them. Uh, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? You bet I do, or blah, I hate them. I want to see both options. What do you say you bet I do? Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them, but what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic, you moron. This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil planes always derail, because you clods always goof off. Rawr! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please come down. Remember your blood pressure. 
Oh, and here's another Koopa. Huh? What's that? Bumble Mumble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! Oh, huh? what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing? Besides me, such a great line. I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Bowser's like, someone kidnapped Peach except for me. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back. Such a funny line. Because Bowser always kidnaps Peach, and now he's upset that someone else did it. Oh, I guess maybe Don- Oh wait, no, Donkey Kong stole Pauline in the original. Now there goes Bowser and his clown car breaking through the wall like that. Oh my goodness, and part of that guy on the side is missing now. But, your grudginess, wait up! And off flies Cammy the Koopa. Oh, this is so funny. I love seeing the backstory of these characters. Okay, so the Bowser cutscene is done. Are we back to being Mario now? Okay, looks like we're back to being Mario now. Very good. Koops, my lad. Are you telling me you're going with Mario? Uh, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then, um, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You're my son, Koops. And I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem, uh, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the stars shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door. So, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go. Alright, off we go. I really recommend you watch my video where we play Lego Harry Potter on the Nintendo Switch. We play the full first year. The cutscenes are hilarious. It's a pretty cool game. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this journey. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.